Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to fire my little homemade brick kiln a second time. I made some modifications to it that I think will help improve the airflow and help me reach higher temperatures. So let me show you what changes I've made and then I'll get started firing. So the first thing I did was I built this little grate in here. You see this uh, this grate I have sitting here? Uh, and that'll allow me to keep the fuel up here and we can get a little more airflow in underneath the grate here. So the ashes will fall down and I can clean those out and kind of keep some airflow going back into the firing chamber. Another big change I did was I took a chisel and I loosened this brick on the bottom and I rotated it sideways. So I've got a nice opening in here uh, to let oxygen in. And there's another one just like it on the other side. Then more oxygen means higher temperatures and easier time, faster reaching those temperatures. So I've got the little fire started and it's just preheating these little, these are just test pots. Uh, this is some different clay I'm testing out. Some of it from here in the Tucson area and some of it from up in the little Colorado River area. There's a little test tile I made in a video a while back. Going to be measuring temperature with my good old fashioned analog thermocouple. All right, we just broke 100 degrees Celsius and it is 8.08 .08 in the morning. So we'll see how long it takes us to get up to temp at this point. Okay, it is uh, 818 and we're well over 200 degrees. So uh, I don't know, we're maybe 220, something like that. Just about at 300, just a hair below. 300 degrees and about 825. Seems like that might have helped a lot. 
Temperature's over 400 now. It just shot up. Literally shot up 100 degrees. So just want to see what's going on in there. All right. It's 8:32, and we are over 600 degrees Celsius. Maybe we well, maybe 620, something like that. Broke 700 degrees Celsius and it is 8:45 a.m. It's still hovering right around 700. Having trouble breaking that barrier, so I'm I'm gonna stuff some more wood in there and see what I can do. over eight for a while. We've been close to 850 a couple times. I turned the fan off to see if it'd make a difference and it's still hovering right in there just above eight. So I just have a little bit of fuel left. I'm just gonna go ahead and stuff it in and see what I can do. I'm just trying different things at this point, see what works for bringing temperature up or stabilizing it. No matter what I do, I can't seem to break that about 830 barrier. Right now it's just hanging in there about 820. And doesn't matter how much wood I stuff in, whether I turn the fan on or off, it just wants to be right there. So I don't really know what the answer is. I guess some more uh, re-engineering perhaps at the kiln. That's the last of the fuel. It's just about 8.50 right now. That's the last of the fuel, there's nothing else to stuff in it. That may be our peak temperature. It's about 12 minutes after 9. We just dropped below 800 degrees on our way down. I turned the fan off. below 700 degrees it's uh, about 18 minutes after 9 o'clock in the morning uh, I closed up the top a little bit to hold in whatever heats left uh, there's still fuel combusting in the chamber there and I'm just gonna let this cool off at this point I'm gonna leave the thermocouple in place I'm gonna go inside soak up some air conditioning take a shower and we'll come back and see how these pots did in a little while after that had a chance to cool off All right, it's 10.06. The thermocouple tells me that it's uh, about 300 degrees centigrade in there still. So uh, I'm gonna open it up and see what we got. It's had a little while to cool. Man, that sun is bright. Good grief. Talking to the camera and practically closing my eyes. It's glaring off some clouds and it's just unbearable. Woo. Still plenty warm in there. 
tell you. Downright hot in there. Oh, mercy. That is warm. That is beautiful clay. Right there. This is the little test tile I made from the clay that came from over by Vale, Arizona. And this is a bowl made of the same clay. Uh, this little incense burner and the matching bowl, those were made from Tori Hoopy's clay from up near Concho, Arizona. This is that beautiful new clay I tried from up near Sholo, Arizona, up on the rim. And it had really good working properties and it fired to a really nice white color. So I'm really liking that stuff. I think I'm gonna go back and get more. Uh, it's still really hot in there. Uh, there's quite a bit of coals in the bottom. Definitely uh, was a real good idea. I think it, it got to temperature a lot easier than it did last time. You know, it wasn't, it still was a bit of a, a chore to get it up to temp. It wanted to hang at certain points, but uh, I think it got there a lot more easily than it did the first time. I'm fairly happy with it. Honestly, I'm only going for maybe 750 or 800 degrees Celsius. So uh, those temperatures, those low temperatures I'm going for are easily achieved with my current setup. So I think overall a real successful firing with this little kiln with the changes I made, I'm happy with it. Uh, you know, I'm only, like I said, going for 750 or 800 degrees Celsius. So I can hit those temperatures fairly easy with my current setup. I do have some changes in mind because I do want to see if I can push this up to the 1,000, 1,100 degrees Celsius range. For those of you that want to fire harder, for those of you that might want to try melting some glaze, that sort of thing, I'd like to see the top end I can reach. And so I do have some changes in mind. Look for another video in the next month or two where I'll make some more changes and try it again, see if I can get those temperatures up again. But like I said, real good, successful firing. I'm happy with the changes I have for what I'm trying to achieve for my pottery but I do want to see what I can reach for others. If you want to see the video where I made this little kiln, check out this video over here, which will show you how I did that. Thanks for coming along with me today. I'll catch you next time.